there's no way. I'm gonna give up. I'm gonna give up! Everybody, welcome aboard the beautiful Boeing 707. You know, it is very true when you say the Boeing 707 really did change the world of aviation back in the late 1950s when it was, you know, released as kind of one of the first jet airliners that really took the skies. And it really did so successfully over a thousand being built. It's remembered as a legend. But, you know, it had one big problem. It was obviously built for the rather long to mid hole market. Here we go, we can take off with our four JTD engines. But it was really good at serving its market. You know, it didn't really do well on short haul flights. Mind you, the 737 that would have been perfect for that came out only 10 years after the 70. And you can tell, uh, the airplane really does struggle on short runways. This thing needs forever to take off. Come on, don't, don't you dare crash 707. Please make it. Uh, yeah, classical 707 takeoff. Yes, we are here at this, what is it, 1300 meters long Dundee Airport runway, and we have just overrun into the water. Yes, Boeing faced the very same issue. They needed a 707 that was somewhat shorter and could land at shorter runways, and so they did. They did indeed come out with such a plane, the Boeing 720 or 720. It's almost like you're about to put an Airbus in front of it and call it Airbus A720. Yes, everybody, Boeing really was testing the matrix of our simulation that we live in by naming this airplane, unlike any other Boeing airplane, you know, without the 7-something-7 seven seven in it. Really interesting. Already the 720, as you can already tell from the picture, it's slightly shorter. It was really successful or very well known. Only 150 of these were built. Although this is quite a legendary aircraft, here we can now directly see quite a bit of a difference. This is a bit shorter. They did change some things around on the aircraft. It had smaller fuel tanks. It had lighter materials built into it so that it could take off on shorter runways. Something else that it had is, and that's what we noticed when we put the flaps down right here, it had somewhat of leading edge kind of flaps. These are the Kruger flaps that it had. Very interesting design. This was also to make this airplane fly slower, land on shorter runway. I don't know what, are these two key pigeons away? No idea. This is an add-on by Shenshi. This one actually came out quite a while ago already, but this is quite nice. We have the 720 and the 720B, which had different engines. We're gonna check that out later. First of all, though, let's maybe check out, yes, what this airplane was made for, and that is the takeoff capabilities. Check out all those thousands of flaps which are out, which greatly reduced the distance. Here we have a specification, uh, a tab here. We can see the landing run, which was reduced from 1,800 meters 2007. Okay, that's not actually that big of a difference, but it's definitely the takeoff runway needed at maximum takeoff weight. At maximum weight, this airplane only needed 2,500 meters of runway, which is really not much, especially compared to the 3,200 meters that it needed. Although it slightly reduced the operating range from 6,900 to 6,800. I believe it's even less than that. Everybody, let's take a look and take off finally. See if our effective work that we can take off from Dundee Airport. Let's change the flaps. There's a flap at 20. That's good. See, this is a very old school airliner cockpit, although this is relatively cleaned up. I mean, this is not as bad as some of the Soviet airplanes of that time. Go ahead and take off. There you go. Yes, two meters shorter of fuselage. Very, very much less weight because of materials. But wow, maintaining the same engines really does make for a better performance. And we can take off easily at 120 knots. Oh, that was actually quite close. Dundee Airport, 1,300 meters. Great. This add-on is, is quite nice. I mean, it's free, right? I mean, who's to complain? Is there a cabin? Yes. This is only slightly, slightly creepy and stuff, but that's totally fine. We have a cabin. I'm running the 720, whose engines kind of look quite... You know, tiny compared to today's engines. So maybe test this airplane's capabilities some more. Do some short runway testing. It's after all Swiss is your one. Now should we cut by 300 meters? This is 900 meters of asphalt runway. Yes, yeah, everybody, it is a little bit tiny indeed, but I think the 720 is gonna handle it. After all, this plane, you know, I, I would imagine was very much used in like continental US. Check out those flaps again. That's actually quite ridiculous. I think it worked out very well for this purpose. Let's go ahead and land now. Let me see how little we can go on the airspeed here. One, oh, that's very slow indeed. Those flaps really do wonders. Uh, okay, we're now kind of pushing it. <laughs> yeah, slowest flying ever plane. Uh, 
All right, that was a bit of a waste landing. That's okay. We can stop in no. We can stop in zero time. That was actually ridiculous. We've used half of the runway, although we touched down pretty late. There we go, everybody. I'm very happy about the 720's performance. I mean, half a runway means we can we can maybe use St. Bartholomew Airport. So we tried the 720B, which was very similar. It's about different engines. We're about to see that. Now, Kenya Airways, I guess this airplane would have been perfect for Africa too. You know, I think that kind of brings me to the low selling numbers of this airplane. I mean, why did it fail? It's quite obvious. I mean, there was a big oil crisis in the 1970s. And you have to remember the 1970s was around the time we already had the 737, which could do practically the same as the 720 or 720. It's weird calling it that. Right. I mean, the 720 had slightly more passengers that it could fit, but it used a whole lot more fuel. And so why not just use 737? Not to crash, by the way. You can do it. Sink rate. Sink rate. Whoa! Shit. <laughs> A hard landing, very hard landing. I would like you to stop now. Please stop. Use all you got. Please. You are meant for short runways, and so show it to me. Yes, everybody. There we go. We've actually landed. Although we definitely might have permanently damaged our landing gear. We've done it. Even landing on the runway one zero side. Perfect. Although it is a bit debatable if we're gonna take off or not. Um, maybe you should use the flap power of this airplane, which will quite in increase our drag. There you go, put the flaps out all the way. Here we can see them go down up all the way up to 40 degrees. That is crazy. All right, take off now. Yes, you can easily do this. Come on, 720, you're made for the short runway. There you go. Speed popping up real quick too. Perfect. And yes, everybody is stole airliner. That has worked out perfectly. All the people on the beach have watched and they're just in awe. You know, the B version, the 720B, as you can see, does have bigger engines, did have quite a bit more thrust and you can see that. That was very powerful. This thing needs no runway at all, does it? So where are we supposed to fly next? I mean, I know one airport that has 475 meters of concrete runway. It's Helgoland, getting ridiculous at this point. All right, but I, I, I have high trust in this airplane. I think that heart landing must have absorbed so much kinetic energy that we're able to stop in no time. Luckily, this runway is relatively wide. This is ridiculous. This worked perfectly fine. <laughs> and we even have a few meters of runway to spare. Not bad at all. But yeah, I'm definitely now a 720 fan. There you go. Take off. No worries at all. There we go. Yes. You should be able to do this, right? You are a strong airplane. You are a very, you are a strong, yes, you are the strongest airplane alive. That was, did you guys just, just witness that? I'm blown away. Better performance than the 737. Now, you know, I'm, I'm not 100% sure about the physics simulation of this add-on. I think it should be relatively, you know, roughly similar to what is, we had in real life. What impresses me most is that we were not even running at lowest weight, you know? It was like a 200... This was like a 200,000 pounds. I mean, we could totally empty out the plane. Now it's able to fly at 110 knots. Yeah, there is, we're literally almost standstill. There's no way. All right, now stop. There's no way. I'm gonna give up. I'm gonna give up! No! And a special thanks goes out to my members, my supporters. <laughs> Guns Killer, R27, James Duram, that dude, Anime Gods of Gaming, Derek, Insider Plane, Nishititsu Finer, Professional Jamal, Ryland Williams, and New the York. You've got beautiful names.